So I can't believe that I went ahead and got one of these because I know in my other video, if you saw it, my other tactical pen video, I lamented about the insane price of some of these tactical pens. But, well, you know how the saying goes, in for a dime, in for a surefire pen. That's, I think that's how it goes anyway, I can't remember. So I've never really done an unboxing before and this just came in the mail. So I figured what the heck, I will, uh, we can open it together. My trusty Spyderco Dragonfly 2. Works great for opening boxes because it is super sharp. So what have we? Sure fire it is. Let's have a look inside this thing. Comes in a nice little box, I guess. Some more tape? No, I cut that tape. In theory, I cut that tape. There we go. Out comes the stuff. All right, before we get to the pen, what do we have? Let's get the other half of this case out of the way. We have some instructions. I got the Surefire Pen 4. That was the different options, and that seemed like the most, uh, uh, the best of the options. It was very similar to the 3 with a few modifications, and, uh, well, what the heck. So here we go. Here is the pen, which is... So first impressions, it's cold because it was sitting in my mailbox, and it's December. Otherwise, though, it is a nice, hefty, weighty pen. The click is very nice and smooth. Feels very nice. So just wanted to throw in this little unboxing as long as I was unboxing it. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use it for, uh, for a couple days, and I will come back and finish this video off and report kind of kind of what we have. There you go. There's the beginnings of a little Surefire pen. So I've had about a week now to try this pen out and form some opinions of this Surefire Pen 4, and that I have, so let's have a look at it. The pen comes in black and silver. The, the black is, well, it's black, and the silver kind of has sort of a brushed type finish, brushed silver type finish. It's very nice. It really just is a matter of which you prefer. I went with the silver to get something just a little bit different. I figured maybe I'd be less likely to lose it if it stood out a little bit more on the desk or wherever. It's constructed of a very high quality aluminum. It's very hefty, so if you're used to carrying a cheap little pen like I was, then this pen is gonna feel a lot heavier, but not, not bad heavy, just kind of a quality heft to it. Putting it in your front pocket of your dress shirt, or in my case, my scrubs, it tends to flop around a little bit, but if you're used to carrying a heavy pen already, you might not even notice the difference. I tend to, for that reason, carry it in my front pants pocket. So it is tough. I had some questions on my other pen how it would do with some light prying work. And I had a fear of that pen because it has a, a screw point in the middle where you unscrew it, and I don't know how weak of a point that is on the pen. This one is basically constructed of one long piece of aluminum, and it is tough. I think this could take some light prying work or whatever else you need to do with it. You know, realistically, do I think I'm ever gonna have to use this pen to stab my way out of a tough situation? No, probably not, realistically. Um, but it's nice to know that if I, that if I could, or if I, rather if I had to, that it would probably take that if I had to stab my way through a giant petrified sequoia tree in Yosemite, it could probably take it. Um, so this is just a super tough pen and I love it for the quality that it was made with. Let's have a look at the construction of it. One of the reasons I got this pen was that I really wanted a clicky pen. And this tail cap, I, I really don't, I absolutely didn't want a pen with a cap because I'm too lazy to take the cap off and lose it, etc. And I like the pens that twist open, but like the, the original Surefire pen, the pen one, you twist open and you, it, you get a space in the middle here where, that, where you're unscrewing it. I didn't like that design. This, with this push button tail cap, this is, it's great. The tail cap is super smooth. It's quiet. It's great. Push it with your finger, push it with your chest, whatever you like. Super comfortable, love it. Pocket clip, pocket clip is tough. On my other pen, I don't know what the heck happened, but I've bent the pocket clip already. I've tried bending it back. I've not been successful. I can't think of what I put this pen through that bent that bent that tail cap, or sorry, bent that pocket clip. 
This pocket clip, I don't think this is going anywhere because this is tough. It has a nice smooth design into here so that as you're putting it in your pocket, it eases its way down in there. It goes over a smooth surface. And actually, just when it passes it, it actually, there's some space here. You can see it kind of goes down a little bit right behind it. So it's going to fit in and slide in a little bit easier. So the tail clap, the tail, sorry, the, t the pocket clip is wonderful. Absolutely love the design of that. The Surefire logo here, I love that. I love the fact that it's a little bit under the radar, that it doesn't say Smith & Wesson or Uzi or something like that. I love the fact that it's a little bit more, I don't know, covert under the radar in that respect for what that's worth. Uh, the grip. The grip is my really only bone of contention for the most part with this pen. It has this triangular shaped grip that flares out just a little bit right before you get to the tip here. And this is definitely one of those your mileage may vary areas because it really depends on how you write. For me, I don't know, maybe I learned to write weird in third grade. I tend to want to grip the pen a little bit farther forward and the fact that this flares out right there, I want to grip it a little bit forward of that. And so I end up holding my index finger over one of these flared out parts. I would prefer that this be smooth and I think that would be more comfortable on your finger for writing for a long period of time as opposed to holding it way back here. Again, personal preference, just the way I write. Also, this pen has this triangular shaped grip to it, similar to those big rubber triangle things that you used to put on your pen and pencil back in third grade when you were learning to write. Do they still have those? I don't know. But, so that forces you to hold the pen in a certain way. And for me, after I've been writing for a while, the way I'm holding the pen, the way it gets in my hand, is that I eventually, it turns a little bit, and instead of a flat, the flat part going over my finger, it ends up with basically a point sticking into the side of my middle finger there, so that I eventually end up with a little dent there. Okay, so it's not the end of the world when you're writing short amounts, but if I had to write a whole essay with this pen, with my writing style, that would be not ideal. So I would prefer this if it just had a pure round barrel to it, because I think it would be more comfortable for writing with it. Otherwise, otherwise it's okay. So how about the ink? So this comes with the Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, which must be way better than the original Surefire pen, which came with the Easy Flow 2000. So clearly in the last 7,000 variations, it's gotten way better. Has to be, right? Made in Germany. The Germans make good stuff. That's what Vince says, anyway. So he must be right. Now, one of the problems I had with this ink, and probably none of you are going to have this problem, is that this is a piece of thermal prescription paper from our thermal prescription printers at the hospital. I don't know what's different about this paper. I know that if I scratch it with my finger, I can write on it. And for some reason, this pen started writing just fine on this paper, and eventually it completely stopped writing on the paper. I don't know what the deal was. I went and picked up a two-cent pen that was sitting on the desk, and it wrote just fine. So that made me just kind of look into some other ink options. And just to give a quick ink review, I had this Parker refill left over from a Parker pen that I bought probably in 1990, and I actually threw that in my other pen because the ink that came with that was really not good. Um, and this pen, this works just fine after 20 years. Really no big complaints. I then went searching and I got this Parker Quink Flow. There you go. Quink Flow. Very nice. And i would always been curious to try it. Right here we have from Boulder, Colorado. Home of Mork from Ork. For those of you old timers. Um... Fisher Space Pen Review, or Refill, rather. So both the, the Parker and the Space Pen are roughly about $5, same price. Uh, how about writing with any of them? Really, the I am not going to use the 20-year-old Parker. It works just fine, but surely in the past 20 years, they've come out with some, some better options. So the, the inks, just to let you know, they come, this is the way it comes standard, and then some of them come... Like this part, this Fisher one comes like this, and then it comes with a with an adapter that you just put on there, so you can get this part here for uh, when you're clicking it open and closed. 
So how about just a quick writing demonstration with any of them? First we have the Easy Flow 9000. This comes only in black ink with this pen. You can get it in blue. And basically this writes just like a ballpoint pen. No big problems there. How about the Parker Quink Flow? I like blue, so I went with blue in both of these. No big problems there. All right, it's very nice. And last but not least, the Fisher Space Pen Refill. Now this is a fine point actually, and it actually writes more very similar to the the Quink Flow, which is a medium point. I've seen a few people kind of complain about that, but really the the difference between the Parker and the Fisher, it's it's pretty much negligible. Um, if you put if you did a blind study with me and you put one each of the one each of the pen, have me write with them, I would not be able to tell the difference. I don't think. So. Take whichever one you write, or whichever one you like, they're both the same price, they both work just fine. Um, which one will I keep out of the bunch? I'll probably keep the space pen, refill in the pen just for the heck of it. Uh, but there you go, there's my thoughts on the pen, it's a great pen, I wish the grip was designed a little bit better, it is super tough, it's super high quality, it is expensive. $130 retail, but search around, you can find it cheaper online, but check it out. Surefire Pen 4.